Hi hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 1st to the 8th of February. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Virgo, I'm going to start your reading off with an oracle card. You're going to see what's being activated inside of your spiritual energy right now okay so we have divine masculine energy here number 22 and we have the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong focused and active side allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into the form of kindness and wisdom and we have number 18 which is the cosmic flower and we have the frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world so for many of you this um and this has a lot to do with the divine masculine. It has a lot to do with um, basically some sort of connection that you have with the divine masculine is showing up here this week for you. Okay, <clears throat> This can have a lot to do with the Mercury retrograde that's happening in the sign of Aquarius right now for you. So let's get into your reading judgment in reverse. Something here hasn't been realized yet is what it's telling me. And past energy, current energy, near future. Your challenge for the first week of February is the Three of Cups, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> okay. So, very interesting because um, this has a lot to do with a connection, so I'm not surprised that the, the Divine Masculine energy is here for you. Um, yeah, so this is about a strong connection here is what I'm picking up on. So, your challenge uh, this week, Virgo, is the Three of Cups here. Okay. This is talking about possible reconciliation, possible um, reunion here that's happening between you and your person. Um, but it's a little bit challenging for many of you because of some sort of reason here. It's showing up in the challenging uh, position here. So for many of you, there is a possible reconciliation that is on the horizon. Okay. In the recent past, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Ten of Wands. Something here in the past was like... I'm, re I'm really getting something in the past was very difficult, okay, for you and your person, which ultimately led to you abandoning the situation altogether. This could have been a place, person, whatever you decided to leave. Um, and this really created a major transformation in the past that led to a lot of hard work and burdens. Um, and this could be the reason why, Virgo, you decided to leave the situation altogether because you didn't want to have to deal with the burdens in the past. In the present moment, you have the Queen of Cups here, you have the King of Swords, and you have the Tower card. Someone in the present moment um, is super, super emotional, okay? They're super, super emotional about something that's happening out of nowhere, okay? The Tower is about, you know, something that's happening out of nowhere right now. Um, and somebody is really cutting through the fog here, okay? I'm really getting this energy in the present moment of... Um, one person is really emotional, like super, super emotional about this, while the other person is kind of like very, very like logical about the situation, okay? So there is some sort of issue in the present moment that is really requiring you and this person to work hand in hand together um, and to balance these energies. This is why the Divine Masculine energy came out because for many of you, you're operating in this energy, the Divine Masculine energy, okay? Or it could be your person operating in this and there needs to be a balance, okay? There needs to be a balance in the present moment. In the near future, you have the Nine of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Wands. There is some sort of communication in the near future that's coming in about this connection, 
okay, about this um, relationship is what it's telling me. So for many of you, this is a um, marriage that's on the horizon for many of you, okay, which has the potential here to lead to a lot of happiness and fulfillment for you and this person. What you don't see coming is the Queen of Swords in reverse. Someone is going to eventually get out of this place of being super logical. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is your person, okay? A lot of you are dealing with somebody right now who they're all about the logic. They're all about like, okay, facts. I don't want to be focused on fiction. I want to be focused on facts. But at the same time, um, there is this energy of emotion here. Okay, and this could be you. I feel like the Queen of Cups could be your energy here, okay? So let's do some clarification and let's see what's going on. First card I'm going to clarify for you, uh, Virgo, is the Three of Cups here. There's a per uh, There is a potential reconciliation here, okay, with you and someone possibly from the past. Reunions happening here. So the Three of Cups is clarified by the Judgment card, the Eight of Swords, and the Hangman here. Even though, um, even though I feel very strongly here that someone wants to reconcile, I feel like this is both you and your person. It's almost like <clears throat> it's almost like this person who wants to reconcile is doing it out of desperation. I have to say it, okay? I'm really getting a desperate vibe here with the um, hangman and the eight of swords. It's like somebody doesn't want to be in a, in this place of feeling stuck, okay? They don't want to be in this place of um, being held back. So what they decide to do, okay, for many of you, this is a challenge that there could be somebody coming towards you out of desperation, okay? Or vice versa. Maybe you're going towards someone out of desperation, the question now becomes, why are you wanting to reconcile with this person? For what reason? Okay, this is the main key point here that really needs to be focused on uh, this week because this is what's possibly happening for many of you, okay? There's some sort of realization that's happening that probably should have happened a long time ago, but it's happening, you know, right now is what it's telling me, and it could be for all the wrong reasons, okay? We're going to see. I'm going to do some more clarif um, clarification, and we're going to see. Let's clarify the past. I'm going to clarify the five of pentacles. For many of you, you left a situation. You decided to completely disengage from a situation that really created a lot of burdens. Okay. And it really created a lot of issues for you is what it's telling me. Let's clarify and see. Okay. So the five of pentacles is clarified by the three of pentacles in reverse, the three of cups in reverse, and the four of cups in reverse. First of all, I feel like someone here was very on and off in the past, okay? This could have been you, Virgo. There was a point in time um, in the past where you really, I'm really getting this, this, this energy of you walking away from something, being done with it, not thinking you were going to reconcile with this person, not thinking you were going to work on things with this person. And I feel like the more you disengaged with this person, the more they became more interested in you and more... Um, interested on, you know, in on working on things with you here. Okay. So there's something about you disengaging in the past. Let me clarify the death card. Something here led to a complete ending between you and this person. The fact that there was, um, there was a lack of truth here, okay? Ace of Swords. So the Death card's clarified by the Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it was too much of a burden for many of you. This is why you decided to um, possibly end things here with this person. For some of you, this person really, um, <clears throat> there was major trust issues here in the past, okay? Major trust issues. <clears throat> All right, so let's clarify the present moment. I'm going to clarify the Queen of Cups in the present moment. I feel for many of you with this Queen of Cups here, um, someone is overly, um, they're overly sensitive about this situation. For some reason, there's something about this situation. This is somebody who has a lot of love for you with the Queen of Cups here. It could be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces is what I'm getting. 
I feel like this is you. I don't know. I really picked up this was you. So the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Hierophant in reverse. Hmm. It's interesting because in the present moment, Virgo, I feel like you are moving towards this person even though you left them, even though you decided to disconnect from this person. There's still a lot of love here, okay? It may seem like this connection isn't going anywhere. It may seem that there, like there's issues in the marriage or if you're not married to this person. Um, this could have a lot to do with really you know, um, taking a break from the idea of marriage or the idea from union. This is something about you wanting to take it slow here um, with this person and not move quickly with them, okay, after some sort of abandonment. So I see in the present moment there's a lot of on and off between you and someone. There's a lot of on and off, a lot of um, instability here. Let me clarify the tower. So the tower is clarified by the two of wands in reverse, the five of cups, and the five of wands. Yeah, see? I just said a lot of conflict here in the present moment. Someone here is still not over the fact that you left, okay? So for many of you, the way it's looking like is that you left this person and now there's a possible reconciliation. But what's really bothering this person and why they're in this place of being in the logical energy is because of the tower that happened between you and them, which really has led to a lot of conflict in the present moment. Let me clarify the King of Swords. I feel like the King of Swords is your person's energy. Okay, could be you, but I feel like it's your person. So the King of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. It's quite interesting because even though your person is silent, for many of you, you're dealing with somebody who either um, isn't talking to you, they're not saying anything to you. Um, there's a lack of communication here between you and this person. But the interesting thing is, is that logically speaking, this person is in a place of using their logic, okay, in order to express their emotions, Okay, and it has a lot to do with bringing things back into balance between you and them. So, you know, I'm really getting this, I'm really getting this kind of like angry vibe. Okay, your person's kind of angry or upset at the fact that you walked out on them or you disconnected from them. And it's really created a lot of conflict here. So this is about you really being strategic, Virgo, on how to approach this person. Okay, again, the reading could be vice versa. It could be Maybe your person walked out on you, but ultimately someone here is really in this place of really wanting to um, identify why something led to a separation in the past. That's where you're at in the present moment, okay? Um, eventually, I feel like this person is going to come out of this place of being overly logical with the Queen of Swords here. It may take them time, but eventually this is what's going to possibly happen, okay? So in the near future, a major, major change is going to happen, which has a lot to do with communication finally coming in. A lot of you have been waiting for this communication. We're going to see what your person wants to tell you. I want to clarify first the Hierophant here, okay? There is a major potential here that someone is really wanting to commit to this. They may not seem to want to do this in the present moment, but I feel there's a major change that happens because of some sort of event that led to a separation in the past and a possible ending. Tell me more about this Hierophant. So the Hierophant is clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Five of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Swords. In the near future, there's a strong desire here to heal this connection. There's, 
you, whoever this is that you're dealing with, some of you are dealing with a Taurus, okay? Air sign, Aquarius, I'm really getting here. Um, Gemini, Libra, um, Cancer, I'm getting here. For many of you, you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to fight anymore. They don't want to be in this place of arguing. They don't want to be in this place of conflict anymore. There is a really strong desire to find fulfillment in this connection. And where the fulfillment is coming from, Virgo, it has a lot to do with getting into a stable, solid commitment with you. Okay. If you're already married to this person, this is about working and healing the marriage. Okay. Because there's something about you and this person not being able to live without each other. There's a very strong connection here. In fact, because of the cosmic flower message that you have here, this has a lot to do with a connection that has been um, alive for many years, okay? For a very long period of time, you've been connected to this person. And this is why you constantly find yourself going back to them with the three of um, cups. And that's what your challenge is this week, right? So there's something very important here that your person wants to tell you. And it has a lot to do with... Um, this connection it has a lot to do with solidifying the bond and healing the marriage and commitment that you both have for one another so let's see what message is here for you in the near future yeah there's a lot of sadness here in the near future because someone truly wants stability with you we have the eight of wands which is clarified by the sun card the nine of swords and the emperor card whoever this is that you're dealing with there's a lot of fear here um about speaking, about commitment, about what it's going to take for you and them to be happy with one another, okay? So what I'm really getting from this reading overall, um, Virgo, is there's going to come a point where you and this person are really going to start to become vulnerable with one another, really starting to identify why there was a separation in the past, and also to really come to a point where it's like, we shouldn't hold a grudge against each other. You know, we should still uh, try to make things work here because this is what you both truly want. This is about really finding balance between the energies, okay? Because like I said, one of you is super, super emotional while the other one is very logical. And this could be the reason why you both are attracted to one another, okay? So let's get some advice for you. The advice here is to make a decision about the future, okay? I feel like this could be your person that needs to make a decision about the future. And the decision that is going to be made has a lot to do with luck. It has a lot to do with abundance that's coming in. There's something here, I don't know why I'm getting this, this energy, but I'm getting this energy of taking a risk. Someone here needs to be open to take a risk. Even though the, the risk or the opportunity, I'm really getting opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune here, looks really good. Someone here is still closed off. And I think this is what needs to be worked on, right? Um, and this could have a lot to do with the healing process that still needs to take place for you and this person in order to actually move forward and be in this solid, committed connection, okay? So Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one. Bye.